this feature is not activated by default on this app. Take a look at this. Pomodoro timer is running but if I want I can go out of this and use some other distracting app. But by activating this option you can prevent yourself from getting distracted. Go to settings, go to blocked apps and click on this icon to activate it. And now if I try to use some other app while studying, this is what happens. So yeah, very underrated feature, definitely give this a go. Next feature is the white noise options that this app offers. You get this option by clicking this music icon here when your Pomodoro timer is running. And there's a lot to choose from. So guys, you get the drill. Now this next feature is useful only for those students who need to study for a very long duration at a single go. You see, the maximum time limit for the timer of this app can go for as long as 418 minutes, which is equivalent to 8 hours. This is one of those features that will be used very less during regular study sessions but definitely gains importance during exam season when you are at shortest of time. And I'm pretty sure no other Pomodoro app offers time limit that can go beyond 8 hours that Focus to do offers. So yeah, this is a very special feature that this app offers. This next feature lets you join study groups from around the world and lets you check out your weekly ranking from among all the students within that study group based on hours you put in using this app. For example, I've joined this study group named Only Study and this week I was ranked 23 on this group. Also, you get to message and chat with your study buddies on this group. So, this feature could be a huge selling point for this app as it goes beyond studying and gives a community-like experience. Now, I've named this feature as Forest. If you know, you know. So guys, this is a really weird feature where you get to capture sunlight as a reward for focusing on your task using the Focus To Do app. Now next is this plant option. This is a pretty tricky one. See, the moment you complete a task or you study for some minute, it starts giving you these, I don't know, these sunlights and the moment you use those sunlights, your plant grows. See. I have a couple of sunlights over here and if I click on these sunlights my plant grows. Look at this number on top and top right hand side it says 223 grams. Now if I click this plant it increases see 241. So yeah this is a feature of this app like if you have used forest app it's a similar feature to that I guess but I don't really see a huge benefit of using this feature plus if you want to know the basic rules as to how you could collect those sunlights to grow your plant, everything has been explained here on this guide, on this blue corner over here. So you can read it for yourself. But this is a very basic feature which I don't think adds any kind of value to me at least. And while that sounds motivating and all, so far it looks like this feature is only limited to that. You focus on your studies, collect sunlight, redeem sunlight and grow your tree. But it's not an intuitive experience like you get to do on the app named Forest. Because here you'll have to go through a couple of steps before you can finally capture sunlight and grow your tree. So this feature is there but don't expect it to be as much of a smoothless experience like in the app Forest. <laughs> This feature is self-explanatory 
When you first download the app, you sign in using your email address and use that same credential to log in and use the app on several devices across multiple platforms. And you get synchronized data across all of those devices. This is again another simple feature. Just like any other productivity app, Focus Studio gives you summary report of your activities on the app at the end of the day, week and month. This is very useful for tracking your progress. Another simple yet useful feature of this app is Daily Reminder. To activate this, go to settings and click on this button that says Daily Reminder and you're good to go. This final feature is also one of the major benefits of using this app over other Pomodoro tools. This app lets you customize a variety of things like tone of your alarm, white noise in the background, Pomodoro length, length of your short and long breaks, enabling or disabling breaks entirely, auto start of next Pomodoro session, auto start of breaks and so on. So yeah, for this app, customization is the key. Hey guys, so let's talk about the first drawback of using this app. And by the way guys, when I made my last video on this topic, I was not aware of this drawback or else I would have included this point in my last video but anyways let's get to it. See the first and the main drawback of using focus to do is that this app has a lot of features in the premium section but the problem is that when you first download this app and use those features you are not told or you are not made aware of the fact that all those features that you were using are actually premium features and all of a sudden one day maybe around a week after using the app you get to know that a lot of those features were premium features now i can understand a lot of these features being premium features because all the app makers need to make money and i get all that stuff that's okay but the problem is that at least give us a warning give us a notification give us a timeline or at least specify that these features are actually premium features and not your normal features but regardless of that i think a lot of these a lot of the basic features are still available which you could use but i was disappointed that some of the some of these features that i'll mention to you just right now are also included in premium features so unless you upgrade to premium you can't use them anymore but the app does not cost a lot like let me show you go premium if you take the lifetime access of this app it takes you around nine dollars which happens to be around 720 indian rupees which is not a lot to be fair because as students we need to invest some money into our studies so if you think this app is the right one for you definitely go for it but the problem that I have with this is that I was not made aware of the fact that a lot of those features that I was really excited about and I was recommending to people was actually a premium feature. So let me give you a quick overview of those features that are actually premium and do not come with the free version of the app. And one of the main one among that is this blocking app features. You see, if you try to use this feature, like if I try to click this over here, see this is what pops up and it says if you want to use this feature you need to go premium and another important feature that is missing in the free version is this your ability to change your pomodoro length see my custom pomodoro length is 50 minutes which i have mentioned in my last video as well but for some reason if i want to change this i can't do it and even the short breaks you can't even the long breaks you can't even the breaks between two pomodoros you can't so yeah 
so what i would suggest to you guys is that as soon as you download this app and it's free for first few days you set up everything that you need as your basic tool because once you set them up and app goes into premium mode then those features will stick with you so for example if you had set up instead of 50 minutes 5 minutes as your pomodoro length then you would be get you would be stuck with it until you bought the app entirely so that's one caveat to take into account and that's one of the main disadvantages or drawbacks of using this app besides that i think the app is very good and i liked all the features that it offers but i was only the only disappointment for me is that i was not told at the beginning when i first used this app that these features were premium but you still can use the app free mode like all these features like using the timer and stuff is still available to you but one of the two disappointments or two things that are missing for you is this locked apps and changing the length of your timer so you can deal with these two things then you can continue with the free version or else if you have the money you could upgrade and i think it's a it's a worthwhile upgrade